Researchers have developed new algorithms that can turn audio clips into realistic, lip-sensed videos of the person seeming to say those words. The team generated highly realistic videos of former President Barack Obama talking about terrorism, fatherhood, job creation and other topics using audio clips, weekly video addresses and even clips from when he attended Harvard Law School that were originally on a different topic. The system works by converting audio files of an individual speech into realistic mouth shapes, which are then grafted onto the head of that person from another existing video. The study, conducted by researchers at the University of Washington, explained how the team created realistic videos of Obama talking about different topics. These type of results have never been shown before, said Dr. Ira Kemmelmucker Schlizerman, an assistant professor at the UW Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering. Realistic audio to video conversion has practical applications like improving video conferencing for meetings, as well as futuristic ones such as being able to hold a conversation with a historical figure in virtual reality by creating visuals just from audio. This is the kind of breakthrough that will help enable those next steps. The research team chose to work with videos of Obama because the machine learning system needs video of the person to learn from, and there is an abundance of videos of the former president. In the future video, chat tools like Skype or Messenger will enable anyone to collect videos that could be used to train computer models, Dr. Kemal Mukher Schlizerman said. Because streaming audio over the internet takes up less bandwidth than video, the system could help end video chats that time out abruptly due to poor connectivity. When you watch Skype or Google Hangouts, often the connection is stuttery and low resolution and really unpleasant, but often the audio is pretty good, said co-author and Allen School professor Dr. Steve Seitz. So if you could use the audio to produce much higher quality video, that would be terrific. The researchers say they could also reverse the process, feed video into the system instead of audio to develop algorithms that could detect whether a video is real or manufactured. According to the researchers, the new machine learning system makes significant progress in overcoming the uncanny valley problem, which has been a hurdle in creating realistic video from audio. When manufactured human likenesses appear to be almost real, but still misses the mark, people find them creepy or off-putting. People are particularly sensitive to any areas of your mouth that don't look realistic, said lead author Dr. Supersorn Suwajimi Korn a recent PhD graduate of the Allen School. If you don't render teeth right or the chin moves at the wrong time, people can spot it right away and it going to look fake. So you have to render the mouth region perfectly to get beyond the uncanny valley. In previous research into audio to video conversion, processes have involved filming multiple people in a studio saying the same sentences over and over to attempt capture how a particular sound correlates to different mouth shapes. However, this process is expensive tedious and time-consuming. By contrast, Dr. Suwage McCorn developed algorithms that can learn from videos that exist in the wild on the internet or elsewhere. There are millions of hours of video that already exist from interviews, video chats, movies, television programs and other sources. And these deep learning algorithms are very data-hungry, so it a good match to do it this way, Suwage McCorn said. Instead of creating a video directly from audio, the research team carried out two steps. The first step involved training a neural network to watch videos of a person and translate different sounds into basic mouth shapes. Then, by building on research from UW's graphics and image laboratory team with a new mouth synthesis technique, the researchers were able to superimpose and blend realistic mouth shapes and textures on an existing video of that person. Another important aspect of the technique was to allow a small time shift so that the neural network can anticipate what the speaker is going to say next. At the moment, the system is designed to learn on one individual at a time, meaning that Obama voice words he actually uttered is the only information used to drive the manufactured video. However, in the future, the researchers want to improve the algorithm so they can generalize across situations and recognize a person's voice and speech patterns with less data for example just an hour of video to learn from. You can just take any one voice and turn it into an Obama video, Dr. Seitz said. We very consciously decided against going down the path of putting other people's words into someone's mouth. We e simply taking real words that someone spoke and turning them into realistic video of that individual.